Well, last week they held a virtual dementia tour over here in the Grand Cypress Room, and they do this every once in a while, and it's a great way for caregivers and people who are interested in supporting those with Alzheimer and dementia to better understand this disease and what, how it affects people and what they go through. And so we're going to go and we're going to talk to Mackenzie Millis and find out more. Well, look who I found. It's healthcare marketing specialist. Hi, how are you, Rich? How are you doing, Mackenzie? I'm doing well. Yourself? Doing great. I understand you have an Alzheimer's and dementia virtual tour going on today. We do. We are actually holding the virtual dementia tour experience down here in the Woodlands Commons today. Uh, it's a great opportunity for the entire community, both residents and staff, to participate. Okay, so when someone comes here for this tour, what is uh, what are they going to gain from it? Well, I can't give away all of our secrets, but the way the program works is you actually come through a simulation experience where you truly step into the shoes of someone with dementia or Alzheimer's disease. So we alter some of your physical and cognitive abilities so you can really understand what it's like to live with one of these diseases. Wow. Well, I think that's very important for someone to be able to... to um relate and and it would probably I would imagine help them to better understand and maybe know how to to offer better care or support to someone with that. Absolutely and that's one of the great things about this program is we don't do it alone here at Shell Point. We are fortunate to partner with the Alzheimer's Association. I have Emily Reese here with me. Um, she's one of the program specialists for the Alzheimer's Association and she partners with us every time we hold this program here at Shell Point and I think she probably can give some insight as far as Emily, what do you see as the greatest benefits of this program for both caregivers in our community and the broad general community that might not have a spouse with the disease that they're caring for? So what I'm going to do is step out of the way and let you guys talk about that. Absolutely. Okay. Well, certainly a significant benefit is being able to um, have greater sensitivity and understanding. And for caregivers um, in particular, the one thing I hear is um, they learn to have more patience. There's just more understanding. And uh, caregivers often say, if I could just have more patience. So just by going through this process, this experience, it gives them insight to what they're loved one um, may actually be experiencing and their frustrations and through that insight they gain that patience and that is invaluable. For those that may not be a direct caregiver, um, having a better understanding, I think uh, reducing maybe some of the the stigma, um, the sometimes even uh, fear that comes from when we don't understand um, something is uh, also very, very important. I loved during our wrap-up session this morning, um, we had a caregiver that shared at the end of the day, this made me feel more comfortable with the disease that my loved one's going through. And that, that touched my heart. If we can bring comfort to those that are dealing with these diseases, both Alzheimer's disease and dementia, I feel you and I are doing our jobs and making the world a better place. So if this sparks your interest and you're interested in taking the virtual dementia tour experience yourself or know someone within our community that would benefit from it, please stay tuned to both Shell Point Life and SPTV. We will be holding the next program program sometime in the fall and we will be sure to make sure you know when it's going to be.